Okay, in this tutorial we are going to be talking about comparison calculations. Basically we will be working with some functions that will allow us to compare two or more values. So let's see how we can use them in Google Looker Studio. Actually I'm not going to need this table for that, so let's remove this, press delete and that's it. Let's add a new table, add a chart and let's find table. I'm going to place it here, let's resize this. Ok, perfect. Now we need to insert our data. This time we will be using also country for dimension. So let's put it here. Perfect. And for metric, let's use sales this time, instead of record count. And now we are able to see total sales for each country. Now let's start adding those interesting comparison calculations. So let's see what that is. If I add sales one more time, If I resize this table, I'll be able to see those same numbers here. So, if I click on this button here, this little sum here, I'll be able to see those functions that we already covered in previous section. But this time, if we scroll down, we'll be able to see this comparison calculation. Currently, we have none selected, but let's click on this. So, if I click, I'll be able to see different options here. First is percent of total. So basically if I click on this, I'll be able to see how much this single value represents of that total value. So let's see what will happen. If I click on this, I'll be able to see percentage here. So uh, currently we don't have grand total here, but let me add that value here. So let's change that. Let's click on this show summary row. So now we are able to see that this is grand total that we have and this is value for, for example, for USA. And this value represents 57% of our total. This value is 13%, 7 and so on. Now let's see what other options we have. If I click on this, if I scroll down, I will be able to see this comparison calculation. Let's click one more time. And now we are able to see difference from total. This way, instead of percent, we will be able to see numbers. So this value here is difference between this one and our total. So, so that way you can see difference from each of these to this grand total. So basically, it's interesting option. Also, we have percent difference from total. Let's see this one. And now we are able to see instead of numbers, just percentage. Let's move to next one. Next one is basically percent of max. So if I click on this, let's see what will happen. This one is obviously 100% because this is our highest value. And for next one, we are able to see that it's 23%, 13, 8 and so on. Basically, this means that this value here is 23% of this one here. So that's how you can present it. If I click on this one more time, I'll be able also to see the difference from max. Basically, instead of 100%, I will be able to see value. As you can see, here is zero because this is the biggest value. Also, we have difference for next one. For example, this value we get when we subtract this one from this one. So, basically, that's the difference. If I click on this one more time, we'll be able to see that value, but this time in percentage. This one is obviously 1% because this is the highest value. And also, and also this one is 76%, which means that this value is basically 100% minus these almost 24. So yes, basically those are the most important comparison calculations that you can do in Google Looker Studio. With this, I'm going to conclude this lesson and I will see you in the next one.